Hey YouTube, this is part two of the massive misprint slash error collection. It's about 500 cards. So this is another front back, but if you want to go ahead and skip to the end of the video, it's probably the last uh, five, seven minutes of the video where I'll be showing you um, the whole binder, all these cards in a binder. And so again, this is a continuation, this is part two. So, uh, yeah, let's just uh, get to it. If you missed part one, please check in the comment section down below or in the description. I'll have a link to part one if you want to see the cards uh, front and back. But if not, then go ahead and watch this video from the, you know, continuing from that part one. And it's going to be a lot shorter than the part one because this is just, you know, the, the continuation. And also, at the end of the video, you will be seeing a uh, quick review of these cards and its binder form. So yeah, thank you guys. Enjoy the video. The alternate. Name shift. Oh, I was about to say, I had no idea why this was here before, but now I see it. Thank goodness for that glare. You see the line across the picture? Yeah, that's why this is here. I was about to ask what is wrong with this card. These are mm, common misprints, but they're still unique. So let's just get down to it. These right here, they're legit. The Tactical Evolution secret uh, naming, you can tell right there. It's very common. Uh, these are all unlimited. And I'm probably not going to do as much talking in this one. This right here, it's secret rare, but there's no uh, secret on the foil. I believe that's what it is. If I'm wrong, please comment down below because I have no idea what I'm talking about. I try to do some research on these cards, but this is the best of my ability. Thanks for understanding. Uh, it's another Gaia. I showed this uh, earlier. This is another copy. Uh, oh, we forgot some uh, some more of these secret tactical evolution cards. See, these are rares, but they have the secret lettering. Uh, I'm gonna stack them right here. Another rare. It's another one. Another one. Uno mas. One more. Uh, another copy of the command knight. It's no secret foiling. Another one. I need to organize this better. But yeah, at the end of these videos, I'm going to show everything in a binder, and I'm just going to flip through the pages. That's probably what you guys wanted to see, but I mean, some people want to see the condition, and then I can just be like, oh, just look through the video, and or maybe I'll remember it by heart for condition-wise. But, Jesus, all of these are the Tactical Evolution Rare Misprints. They're all the secret lettering. Okay, we're done. That's it. No more of those. Uh, this card right here. There's a lot of these. I don't know if this is actually a misprint, but this is super. The name's just weird looking, I guess. There's just so many of these here. I believe it's for the first edition print as well. This, it just looks weird. Just look at the name. Whole bunch of these. I don't know. I had a bunch of people request a video of my uh, misprint collection, and yeah, I I honestly I don't want to collect misprints, so yeah, about to unload. So yeah, all of these were unlimited. I wish I had a first dead one to do a comparison, but. Yeah, so there's what, six, nine of these. Dark Spirit of the Silent. Okay. Uh, a bunch of these, I think they're in order, but there's going to be some cramp damage. So, packing damage. Or error, sorry. This one has the bottom right there. Reanimation wave. This. Okay, this right here. Check it out. You would think that someone did that, but... It just, I don't think so. It looks like a machine did that. I'm trying to get a close up of this card right here. And then here's the back of it. Yeah, that doesn't look like someone's finger. It's pretty big. Unless uh, 
an ogre sized hand did it who knows but it feels like a machine did it because it's like too perfect I don't know it just feels weird but yeah uh, minor crimp damage right there in the corner for this Claudian Woody Phantom look at that so the LOB reprint pack messed up crimp damage at the bottom again we're gonna try to speed through this cramp damage look like someone peeled off some more cramp crimp how do you say it? cramp cramp whoa alright looks like this one someone did try to peel this off or I don't know but who doesn't love elemental dragon misprints error cards another crimp was that all? Uh, it looks weird. I don't know, something caught my eye with the foiling. Uh, this isn't not so cramped, but you can tell right here. Um, I've noticed that type of error on the manga style card, so I think this was from a book or something. Uh, here we have more cramp damage. Ooh, we have cramp damage on this one but it's not it's like right here above the edge and we have whatever that is there I don't know if that's after damage or that's from the actual pack uh, more cramp cards it's a bunch of cramped cards so this collected a bunch over the years I guess uh, this one has minor cramp damage it's just right here cramped across the top Uh, this right here, if you uh, check it out in the center, you can see that the uh, yeah the packaging error straight up. Uh, again, some people may consider these cards to be just damaged, which, uh, well, in all honesty, they are. But some people actually uh, collect these type of errors. Um, so, yeah, let's just speed right through it. A bunch of crimp damage. I mean, <clears throat> errors, sorry. Uh, this right here is uh, from the manga. Uh, I guess it's pretty common error, but you can tell right there. Another pack damage slash crimp. Um, this Valor, ouch. But uh, yeah, the, it got caught from that pack. Uh, Would have been salty to get that one to use, but uh, probably still tournament legal to be honest. Um, Junk Gardener. So a uh, majority of these cards... Um, are in somewhat in order. Ooh, that's a nice one. But uh yeah, majority of these are crimp damage or crimp error. Sorry again. <laughs> uh Kerbons. Oh wow, Tele Dad. That's pretty cool. Uh Sea Koala, as you can see. <laughs> um yeah, across the top right there. Yeah, we're just uh speeding through this right here. Just we want to get to the finish line. Um geez, that that is uh insane um these are somewhat uh common Ooh, this is like a two for one it's a miscut and a cramp uh error but again uh these are somewhat uh common errors but at the same time they're somewhat unique because uh not not really one card or i guess there's not really any duplicates of one card having the exact same area of damage uh wow the bottom's straight up gone from that card um here we have another one so as you can see this is where we're getting our majority of the uh, 500 card from the massive collection this is a huge misprint collection man 500 cards it's it's insane Ooh, a super threatening roar uh yeah same as the veiler right here yeah Rest in peace, Sophia. Uh, there's just t a lot, loads of these cards. Another one, man, hit Arsenal's. They're getting uh, the shaft today, um, or whenever that happened. Uh, cramp from the bottom. Uh, man, um, does this one have cramp? Let's see. No, actually, we're done with cramp. All right, all right. This has like kind of a double stamp in the name. Uh, heavy printing. 
Uh, here we have a common misprint, but it's still pretty cool. Ophion, no dual terminal particles, but it still has the super foil. That's still a sweet misprint. Um, here we have, uh, I want to say it has an Eye of Anubis foiling, but it has something there. You see that? Yeah, it's like, it's very minor. It's uh, nothing compared to that other common in the part one of this uh, video series. Here we have a Shockmaster. And the damage on it looks like uh, machine made or something. You see that? Yeah. Man, I would have been mad getting that card when it just came out. It was pretty expensive. I'm sure I remember how much, like 30, 40 bucks. But with this damage, it makes it unique and some people like it. Here we have another dual terminal card that's missing its uh, holographic particles. Um, pretty nice to have. Here, we're going to start off with our premium uh, pack secrets. These are all pretty uh, common misprints because uh, they're supposed to be supers, but hey, um, there's a marshmallow, but it's a two for one. Look at that miscut, and it uh, has the wrong name on it, but that's an insane miscut. So I like that. It's a two misprint slash errors on that one. Uh, pretty cool card. Yeah, uh, here we have uh, some video game errors. Um, I want to say all the U.S. Uh, prints are this way, but I'm not so sure because I don't have. Uh, I don't remember seeing these cards in a different um, looking foil. So here's a Hecatrice. This one's actually a uh, pretty. Uh, valuable because uh i don't know some people like to collect fairies and that's a it's highest rarity secret uh here we have um an offset ultimate but i have no idea what happened there with the two stars in the front uh but yeah offset ulti another marshmallow misprint yeah it's a pretty common one this right here i guess it's a discolored lord of d uh, first I thought it was sun damage. It could be, but you can tell that the, um, it just looks weird. Here we have a dark marshmallow, I believe. It's just really, really dark. Um, I hope that's a misprint. This one's really dark too, this Gemini Imp. Um, this Dark Magician. Alright, I am stumped. I have no idea why this is here. Is it the, uh the ink on the name i just don't know why it's it's here could it be a mistake i don't know uh if you see anything wrong with this one please comment down in the section below in the comment section down below and let me know what's wrong with that dark magician because i am stumped all right return zombie it's darker um this is another uh you, you can tell damage in the middle probably came from the same uh here in arsenal pack uh, Seeker Yada. Uh, again, these premium pack secrets, they're a pretty common misprint because they're all supposed to be a super, I believe. Uh, here we have a maximum six. Uh, we've seen one earlier, but this one's in, I guess, rough condition. That's why it's in the back. <laughs> uh, ooh, we have a full place set of Hecatrice. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see what's up next. Ooh, we have some Lady Heats. Uh, I wish I had the, the male version, the guy. Um, yeah, we just, we're just going to be showing you some more secret from premium pack. Again, it's a pretty common misprint. It's supposed to be super, uh, nice, nice beetle pack. Pretty cool. Uh, Metamorph. I like this artwork. Ooh, okay. Um, they never corrected these, so I guess it's still a misprint, but it's extremely common. But just, just check it out. Uh, you, you probably have some in your bulk or something, but it's still considered a misprint. It's just a pretty common misprint. Yeah, how can I mess that up, man? Um, this is not the only unlimited card in this set uh from the reprint pack because these look way too fresh 
Um, let's see if we have it. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Look what they did to its head, man. They totally messed it up. At first, I thought it was, you know, it's supposed to look like that, but I remember seeing another copy of this card, like its first printing, and yeah, it looks nothing like this. So, these are pretty common misprints, but it's still technically a misprint, they just didn't fix it. Uh, this right here, um, I don't know what's wrong with it. I assume it's like a darker print, or maybe it was just there for comparison. Uh, same dealio here. Um, maybe a lot of ink on the name. Another maximum six. It's supposed to be like hollow or something, cause the lettering's like ultra or ulti. I don't know. So we have another uh, collector's tin card. It's a uh, secret, but the foil isn't secret. It's like a super foil. So it's pretty common misprint. I remember seeing a bunch of those back in the day. Another return zombie. Uh, we have some more video game promos. Another turtle tiger. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of duplicates. Ooh, we have some more Wrath of Neos. That's um, you see how that foiling is just off. Yeah, I, I would say someone's like you know messing with it, but I don't know because where there's no foil, it's like little bit tiny foil. So. Hopefully that's like a legit uh, error card. Here we have a Dark Magic Curtain. Not sure what's wrong with it. Um, another secret premium pack. Some more secrets. Uno mas. Otro? Alright, one more. Okay, another one. Um, ooh, we have another uh, card that's supposed to be secret foiling, but it's a super foiling, although it's secret rare. And it's still sealed. That's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, again, it's a pretty common misprint. Uh, here we have a Hidden Arsenal Super. I am not sure what the misprint is. Um, I'm guessing it needs to be foil throughout the card. Um, same thing with that previous card, Warm Damicles. It has a, it's missing foil at the bottom, I believe. So that's that. And here we have some more video game promos. Um, it might be... I don't know if this is a common misprint. It might be. Uh, if you have this card, check to see if the attribute is hollow as well. But this one has a little minor name miss missing its name, but who knows? Maybe that is a common misprint. And next we have more of those collector tins. There's no secret foiling on the card, just in the name. And we have a couple copies of that obnoxious Celtic guard. Another command knight with no foiling in the center. Uh, secret foiling. There is foiling, but it's like super rare. Same thing with the Swift Gaia. And here we have a. Uh, oh, we have the same thing. It's secret, but the center is super. And this one's a little cramp on top, so that's a little extra. We have another sh defense shogun. Same thing. We have a bunch of these Command Knights. Yeah, a lot of Command Knights. Uh, more Turtles! Who doesn't like Turtles? Gishki Zalgigas. So, this is dual terminal, but no particles. Just like those evil swarms. This right here, I have no idea why it's here. It's uh, damaged, of course. That's after uh, the making, though. Um, it looks like it might be reverse foiling, I guess. Uh, please let me know. I have no idea. We have a Line Darkness Dragon. Do some comparison on the foiling. Ooh. One of these is reversed. This might be it. Okay, let's let's see why this is here. Um, it's hollow throughout the card. Maybe that's why. Minor miscut, I believe. Yeah. Uh, we have some more LOB unlimited misprints. We have more fiends, more turtles. I, again, I don't know if it's a common misprint. Another wild heart with the secret lettering. 
Elemental Hero Heat. I wish I had a secret of this, but I guess I didn't have one. This is a miscut super. More of those video game promos. See, we have the ulti. This one's a little beat. Hit an arsenal. Why is this here? Hmm, no idea. Okay, now we're entering the layer of the known names. There's several known names. This one has an imprint though, but yeah, we're gonna do this kind of quick. No name. This one has no imprint though, so check that out. No imprint. This one has an imprint and it's auction. It's also <laughs> been stabbed to death, but uh, man, with all due respect, it's a very old card, Metal Raiders. Uh, no name, no name, no imprint. Cool. Hopefully, you can tell if it, there's no imprint. I'm gonna try to get that glare in it. Yeah, this one's pretty beat though. Imprint. Whoa. Well, I guess imprint. It might be just Psy Beast. Who knows? Um, imprint. Some of these imprints, not these, but hopefully I'll get to it. Uh, the names may be shift, so it's like a double error. But yeah, you can tell this one had a name, and I guess it's losing it. Uh, this has no name, but you can t see the imprint, and since someone signed it. I have no idea who that is. Maybe someone famous. You can see the imprint there. Another imprint. Okay, this one has an imprint, but it's also shifted to the left. No imprint. I love this type of stuff. No imprint. It's my favorite. A uh, very minor impression there. This one has imprint and it's shifted, so a double error, I believe. Um, imprint. Ooh, there's nothing there. Nice. This one has the imprint there. Yeah, oh, that one's pretty cool. You saw a little shift there with no name, but it had the imprint. So yeah, a bunch of these are, uh, they're all no names. Um, most of them have the imprint slash indention. Oh, that one's a little shifted. But uh, for the most part, they're, again, it's no name. Oh, this one's missing some of its name. Uh, most of its name. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, ooh, that one's nice. Has no indention there little minor damage there but it looks like it's a uh, factory damage uh ooh, this one's beautiful too yeah so again this is my favorite type of misprint where there's no name um no indention wow beautiful slacker magician it has a little tiny thing right there uh love that type of stuff uh forbidden scripture yeah um you see the indention there yep 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 so again we're like somewhat speeding through this so ooh, that's beautiful uh so we can get to the end um but all overall you know these are somewhat common misprints but at the same time um they're still pretty cool it'd be cool if most of these were like you know popular being used today but in all honesty Who's using that one right there? <laughs> Catapult Warrior, yeah. But uh, but again, you know, there's uh, there's always gonna be a market for misprints because it's uh, uh some of these are unique, right? It's one of a kind. But you'll run into those uh, 
Gaia Dragon Champions that are, you know, pretty easy to get because there's it's a common misprint. So yeah, bunch of no names right here. Just random cards all together. Oh, that's a nice one. Magic Drain. What, Polynosis or something? Doo -doo. Pretty cool. No names, no names. So many no names. Um, yeah, so again, if you, uh, hopefully you've seen part one of, uh, this misprint collection because part one has the, uh, cooler things, although there are some pretty, uh, decent stuff in the part two video that has like a little minor missing its name, like a little piece of the O. Yeah, this was legit just thrown in there. Uh, here we're going to start off with the Offset Ultimates, I believe. Um, yeah, let's see. Oh, oh, ooh, this one's uh, not Ultimate. Uh, you see that? I don't think that's a huge misprint. I think that's actually uh, from the DT machine or something. I don't, I honestly do not know. But uh, yeah, we're going to start off with the Ultimate Offsets, the Foil Ships. There's going to be quite a few of those, actually. It's a bunch. Uh, pretty common misprint, but it's still uh, the foil shifted down. Um, as you can tell right there, and offset foil. And uh, there's, um, I want to say there's about like five or six of these Gaga magicians. And, uh, well, you can see the, uh, foiling is offset right there on the left. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what's up with that Gaga Magician. It's really common misprint. Were they all pretty much misprinted? Or, I guess it might have been from the same case. A uh, little bit of foil offsetting. It's a huge, uh, shift there in the foil. Uh, it's pretty noticeable there. Yep. Uh, now that's a cool foil shift. You can see his little sword hollow right there. Um, LOB's notorious for their foil shifting. A little minor shift there. Um, this is pretty nice. Some more ultimate shifts. So again, uh, all these cards, they're sleeveless because it would have taken longer to take the sleeve out, show you, you know, condition front and back. But um, in the binder, they're all going to be sleeved up. So if you see something in the binder, it's best to like, d depending where in the binder it is, it's probably going to be in the, the um, sequence of video. But I can't honestly tell you what's up. Um, yeah, here we have some more like offset foils. Some are minor, some are pretty big. And uh, ultimates, they're uh, kind of the most common offset because they have to be stamped twice. But still, it's uh, pretty cool to see. Some more LOB cards. Yup, you can tell right there, a little bit of a uh, offset right there. This dark condition, the corners cut. Um, I want to say that's how it came, but I honestly have no idea. Looks pretty good. Uh, here we have some miscuts. And um, yeah, these are all like common, but 
still miss cuts. Ooh, I like this one because it's a little bit of a miscut, but it has two Eye of Anubis, okay? It has the bottom right and the top left, and it's miscut. So that's probably the, well, I don't want to say the best card in video too, but I mean, it's pretty unique, right? Gnarly miscut. That's an insane miscut right there. And uh, this is a funny one. Look, it's a token miscut. Yep. Uh, here we have Iron Chain Blaster miscut. Uh, yeah, we're reaching towards the end. Just want to say uh, thank you guys again for sticking through this. <laughs> so this, it was a lot of cards. Uh, to be exact, it was 589 cards. And I know I could just find some more misprints and just hit it to the 500 mark so it, don't hate me for rounding up anyway here we go guys this is gonna be the final part of the video we're gonna be showing you the binder video right now enjoy hey guys this is just the summarization of the video if you uh, didn't want to see everything one by one this is a uh, the major collection right here Everything is the same as you saw it earlier, but it's inside the actual binder. So this collection consists of uh, everything you see here. And uh, it's about over 400 cards, actually. Um, almost 500, I think. But it, the video is going to consist of two binders. And this is the main binder. I just filled this one up with whatever. And then the next binder has a little bit more common misprints. But I like to think everything here is somewhat unique. You're not really going to find another uh, card just like it. Well, sometimes you may. I don't know. But anyway, uh, yeah, let's get to it. So again, if you want to see the front and back of certain cards, uh, it was uh, footage from earlier as well. This is just for those that don't want to wait and flip through uh, car every card one by one. And this is just a confirmation that you're getting that you're seeing everything and it's somewhat in order but not really right now we're entering the uh, miscuts and now these are the uh, multiple stamp errors on the name and stuff it's pretty gnarly I apologize for the glare and this right here is the um, I have Anubis in some weird <laughs> spots it was just uh, one page there. And here we go with some no names. No name errors, or barely any names. There's a lot of these actually. Uh, now we have some random stuff. name shifts I believe yeah all these lava golems have their name like pretty much in that area not ones exactly alike but you get the picture foil shifts ultimates and other random stuff hidden arsenals that should not exist Miscuts. No names. Foil shifts. Uh, random stuff. And again, you've seen every single one of these cards uh, 
either in the previous video or right before this. And this concludes binder number one. Binder number two, uh, this consists of more common misprints or errors they've not yet fixed or probably will never fix. Uh, here are the tactical evolution secret rares and the lettering. <laughs> secret lettering rares. Yeah. Video game promos. Secret rares that do not have the secret foiling. Quite a few of those. Uh, premium pack secrets. So yeah, again, these are more common misprints or error cards. Uh, here we have the crimped slash damage factory packaging errors. <laughs> So all of these have some type of packing damage, factory damage. And that concludes it. So let me know what you think about this video in the section down below in the comments. I want to know what kind of errors you have. And please, if you know what's wrong with some of these cards, just uh, comment down below. I would love to know and get a better understanding of these misprints. And a huge shout out again to the misprint prints. Thanks, man. Thanks for all your help. You've been a blessing and everything, bro. And yeah, make sure to hit up his uh, Instagram and Reddit, I guess. I will leave uh, some info in the comment section down below or in the description on that. So yeah, Bordel out.